Trinidad, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, giving you the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, it's Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And well, Thursday night I saw a movie called Aliens Covenant. And well, let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, remember our rating scale, shock a thumbs up. It's good to see, I recommend it. Shock and thumbs down, it's bad to see, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And, well, it's Friday morning, I slept on it, I thought about this movie, and overall, I have to say, I give it a shock and thumbs down. <laughs> now, I've, I saw one review by accident about this movie already, and, um, you know, other than that, I tried to skip all the other reviews, um, you know, and I just got, I got to give it the shock of thumbs down overall. Uh, how can I describe this movie? Um, I guess the best way to describe this is Passengers, you know, that Jennifer Lawrence, Chris Pratt movie that came out, you know, f at the beginning of the year, uh, Passengers combined with all of the Aliens films. So number one, two Aliens, even number three, and yes, number four. Uh, wow, all combined together, mishmashed into one movie. Uh, I was not thrilled to go see this movie, you know, which is kind of unusual. I mean, you know, it's science fiction, Aliens, you know, I, I, you know, my favorite Aliens movie is James Cameron's Aliens. I think the action in that is superb, uh, the suspense is superb, and the acting, and the effects for the time uh, still hold up, you know, uh, by far to this day. Um, that being said, um, you know, I guess I heard that they spend 111 million on this movie, which is. Uh, actually, uh, pretty reasonable for the scope that Ridley Scott wanted to do with this movie. Um, so, bravo for that. Uh, and the, the alien CG effects are really good. Um, the spaceship designs are really good. Uh, very much like, um, you know, the first and the second movie. You know, especially uh, a lot of influence from the second movie. Uh, aliens, James Cameron and Ridley Scott. Uh, attempts his best, uh, you know, impression of James Cameron in this, but, uh, you know, that's part of the reason for the shock of thumbs down. One, that he attempted it. Two, that uh, he didn't quite make it. You know, Ridley Scott is not James Cameron, and he shouldn't be trying to be James Cameron. Uh, that being said, like I said, it's a mashup of all five of those movies. Um, this movie starts out as Passengers, um, transitions into, transitions into Aliens, you know, the second movie, um, finally turns a little bit into part four, Aliens 4, uh, where it, 
um, you know, a little bit of Aliens 4, a little bit of Aliens 3. Uh, they talk about the evolution of the Xenomorphs. Uh, those who love Prometheus will love this movie. Uh, everybody else who just likes the Aliens films on their own, um, it's going to be hit or miss. Um, you know, there's enough there to love because they take from all the movies, you know, none of the Aliens Predator stuff, but uh, they take from all of the Aliens movies and intersperse bits and pieces here and there. So you might like it if you just love Aliens. If you didn't like Prometheus, you probably won't like this movie, at least half of it. Um, because they do talk a little bit more about the history of the Prometheus, the creators, uh, and we find out that they were not intending to make xenomorphs at all. Uh, that was never their intention. Uh, I don't know if the first movie had talked about that, Prometheus had talked about that at all. I never saw it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so it moves into Aliens 3 uh, and Aliens... Uh, part four a little bit where they talk about the evolution of the uh, xenomorphs um, and then a little bit more into aliens part two again and then finally it ends as the first movie aliens uh, with a dash of part three uh, you know aliens what was that uh, the end or one whatever <laughs> <laughs> because that's how it ends, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, so where do they go from here with this movie? Franchise, I guess. Uh, anybody's guess is it. Uh, I wish that they would just, okay, this should be Ridley Scott's last Aliens movie, and then just hand it over to Bloom Camp now. Because this catches up. Okay, after this, uh, the events of this movie, we now start Aliens, I believe. And so unless he's going to just remake all of Aliens, you know, or, you know, the first movie and then start to remake the second movie and such, uh, I don't see what more he can do with this. They should just move it into Bloom Camp and go with, you know, his idea uh, as far as bringing back Ridley and, you know, pretty much catching up from Aliens uh, Part 2 and uh, just moving on from there. So, yeah, you know, also Michael Fassbender is a fabulous actor in this. Uh, he steals the show, obviously, and uh, there is a beautiful uh, data, data lore scene in this. For you Star Trek Next Generation fans, you'll know what I mean. But uh, again, overall, I got to give it a shock of thumbs down. Um, again, just because of the rehash of all the movies into this and Ridley Scott not doing what I feel is original work. He's just rehashing all of the movies and then ending what he feels is strong with his original movie. Um, so there you go. And like I said, he's no James Cameron. So, I mean, the action is all right. Uh, he does his best, but again, he's no James Cameron. Um, that being said, uh, let's, I guess I could talk a little bit about, uh, you know, Prometheus, I guess, you know, it was an interesting idea, and for him to want to continue that idea, I guess a lot of fans weren't on board with that. And, uh, you know, so he said, okay, I'm just going to continue Aliens, but I'm still going to throw in uh, some of the Prometheus stuff. Uh, and I hope this is the last we see of the Prometheus kind of stuff. I mean, maybe as Ridley Scott is getting... Oh, also there's a little bit of Blade Runner in this, the data lore scene, you know, uh, basically with uh, Michael Fassbender's characters, if you know what I mean. Um, so that could be a little bit of a spoiler, but if you've seen the scenes, you kind of know what's going to happen. And uh, again, uh, maybe Ridley Scott being 80 years old, he's starting to question... Uh, life, his life, you know, the afterlife, and so he's wondering about all this uh, creator stuff. You know, who created who, uh, you know, he he created Aliens, the franchise, he didn't really design the creatures and create them, but he kind of is with the lore of it all, so I, I don't know. He said this movie is all over the place as far as the other movies go, uh, trying to combine everything. And, uh, you know, some people fulfill that it works, uh, I myself did not. I give it a strong shock of thumbs down. 
uh, and say just skip it for Netflix. Um, you know, at least, you know, if you really want to see this, I'd say the $6 on Tuesday, uh, you know, at uh, Regal or the $7 on Tuesday at Consolidated uh, would be your best option. Um, you know, it, I don't know. Uh, Ridley Scott says he's got like a whole bunch more movies planned, so we'll just have to see what's going to happen after that. Um, other than that, all right, go ahead and let you go. This is Trinidad, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Oahu. Aloha.